Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. Today I'm going to show you how to remove and reinstall the cowl covers on this 2007 Mini Cooper S. If there's any parts for your vehicle that you need, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. With the hood up, we're going to pull this little cap off the wiper arm, just grab underneath it pull that up and we're going to take this nut off. I'm going to use a 13 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Pull that nut off. There's a little washer here. We'll pull that off as well. I'm going to grab with two hands on the arm. I'm just going to rock it back and forth. Just like that. It'll loosen up and pull the arm off. The driver's side would be the similar procedure to the passenger side. Right, we're going to remove the weather stripping, just pull up on it, slide it out of the groove. 10 millimeter socket, same as the other side, and also this plastic nut. Now we'll remove this cowl first. Pull that out of the way. It does have clips that clip in. I'm going to use a 10 millimeter socket extension and a ratchet. I'll take this bolt out right here. Next, I'm going to take this nut off right here. It's a plastic nut. I'll use the same 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. Next, we're going to take this washer tube out of the bracket right there. Now, we'll pull this one off. This has clips underneath here as well. And these are worn as well. Some of these are broken. Just gonna slide up and pull it out. On the back side, this channel was clipped into this piece right here. Just gonna push this back in. It goes along the bottom of the windshield. All right, I'm gonna reinstall this. Driver's side cowl first. Slide this into position. Just gently push at the top of the windshield and then lock it down in place. Make sure that's all locked in place. Next, we'll install the passenger side. Just slide this into position. Push it down near the windshield. And then the lower part, make sure the stud lines up. And then the hole for the screw, for the bolt. And then lock it into place. Next, we're going to install this 10 millimeter bolt right here. Get that lined up with the hole. We'll get it started with my socket and extension. I'll take this plastic nut, install that on this stud right here, and snug that up as well. And we'll do the same for the other side. Install this washer holes back in the retainer. Install this weather stripping. Just line it up. And press it 
press it down. Before I install the wiper arms, I want to cycle the motor and make sure it's in the right position. So I'm going to insert the key and turn the ignition on. And I will just do one cycle on the wiper blades. Once I see it's done one cycle, turn the key off real quick. So that'll make sure that the wiper transmission and motor assembly is in the proper position when we go to install the wiper arms. So this happens to be the driver's side. Ours has a little wing right here. Yours may not have a wing. And we're going to put this on, push this down. And to line the wiper up, you can kind of see where the wiper was in the position. You could, when taking it apart, you could mark the windshield if you want them exactly where they were. We'll take the washer and the nut. Um, these wipers line up with the cowl right here. You can see if you didn't mark it or you couldn't see the mark on the windshield. We'll take our 13 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Tighten these up. Once it's tight, just go a little bit more, like another 10 degrees. And then we'll do the same with the other one. Now we're gonna put these little covers on. Just snap it into place. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.